Hello friends, I am back to share with you what I have done for July. And I warn you, I've gone a little different. So usually I just use the Designs by Planner Perfect plan book. So that's the one that has the calendar in the front, the pre, you know, pre set up goals pages, and the week on one page scattered throughout the pages. Well, this month, I don't know, maybe I just wanted to try something different, but I took the journal from the July sub box and turned it into my main planner for the month. So let me walk you through the pages and show you what I've done. Uh, because nowhere on it does it say July 2021, as the books usually do, I wrote it in the front cover because I do save them. So I get that asked uh, occasionally and I have done an entire video on how I store my inserts, but I have a shelf and I like to have them labeled so I know where they go. And then the rest of the pages are all blank when you get the book. There's nothing in here except blank paper. And so I have turned them into my own bullet journal. I've kind of combined what I've been doing in the plan books with how I've originally started planning with the Designs by Planner Perfect insert. So I used to only get the journals and I had my own style. So you can go back about two or three years to find out how I was planning then. So I'm kind of combining some of those elements with how I've been planning lately. So this first page, I used the washi tape from the sub box and a couple of stickers. I think this one and this one are from the sub box. And these two are from a Happy Planner sticker book, which I actually got in my mom's hometown. We were at the dollar store or the Dollar Tree of all places. And they had this seasonal Happy Planner book for a dollar and this watercolor one for, for a dollar. And I love this seasonal one because it does have beautiful stickers um, themed by the seasons. So just a quick little flip. So anyways, pretty much all of the stickers that you will see are from Designs by Planner Perfect July box or that those Happy Planner books. So I'm gonna use this two page spread for July goals. It's going to be our first kind of official uh, vacation, summer break, do nothing, have no plans month of this current year. And so I really don't want to have too much I'm focusing on other than fun in the sun, basically. So I left room to write some things. I still might do some photos as like a vision board where I print out photos like this as prompts. Um, I haven't decided yet, so that's why I left it blank. And then I set up a summer rhythm spread. So originally I had thought I might slowly start easing us into back to school in the end of July. That's when it's really hot out, we get bored, we crave routine. I'm not sure that's gonna happen anymore. And if it's gonna change, I'll white it out or put a sticker or tape here and kind of cover it up. But I do know I want to have kind of a rhythm for our days, like maybe reading time and then play outside and lunch and go to the beach, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm still thinking it through and I have a little bit of time to make the decision on how I kind of want the rest of the summer to go. I added a gratitude log. I've had gratitude logs in different planners, different journals, and different places before, and I really just wanted to try it here. So I have a two-page spread. I'll probably do it list style, so I'll just write the number one for July 1st and write what I'm grateful for. I was gonna pre-number it, but I decided sometimes you wanna use a fuller sentence or a longer sentence to write what you're grateful for. And this is gonna allow me to take as much space as I need each of the days. And then if I happen to need some more room, I can use a tip in. So like this sticker quote came from the Happy Planner. Oh, um, the yellow washi came from a couple of sub boxes ago, designs by Planner Perfect, and the stickers are from the Happy Planner. 
This washi with the cactus, I think, is from Hobby Lobby. So I had been using and trying to incorporate a prayer list into my plan books and without the calendar in the front, which is where I had put it in May and wanted to put it in June and just wasn't able to, um, because I didn't have that calendar, I'll just use it and make it like a list. And actually, I possibly should have done it as a two-page spread. Hopefully I have room for everything. If not, I'll tip something in. This wider washi is from an old Planner Society washi kit from like two or three summers ago. And then I think this is from the Happy Planner. I know this is. Over here, um, it can be helpful. And this is also sort of goals related, something I maybe would have put on my goals pages in this kind of book. So usually I use the goals to almost set the atmosphere for the month rather than have it be this uh, real task oriented, um, get goals done, high achiever kind of thing. It's more of an atmosphere thing. And that's where the first kind of goals page is gonna come in. This is gonna be a little bit more atmosphere, summer bucket list, that kind of thing. But I will include projects or things I wanna work on in my goals section. And this is that spread for this month. So any tasks or projects I wanna work on, I can put them here. And then we are in to the first weekly and daily pages. So something that I used to do all the time is have this almost Hobonichi style week on one page. This was sort of like a week at a glance and I would use this for menu keeping and I would write down my dinners for the week. I am probably gonna try to fit in my dinners and use it as a week at a glance for uh, appointments and real time sensitive or important things. So that's what this will be for. And then over here, I wanted to do a weekly habit tracker as opposed to, um, I had been sticking, hang on, let me find it. I can't show you everything back here. So I gotta be careful as I flip. Okay, um, I had my June tracker already. And again, June was just uh, the month of go with the flow. So nothing um, got put in here and nothing needed to anyways, uh, I wouldn't have been able to keep up with it. So I had, I had really kind of been enjoying this. Let me find May right here. So here's May. Um, and I just decided I would maybe want to do it as a weekly one. So a lot of the same things are here. And then this is going to allow me to tweak it every single week. And I think if it's in my daily and weekly pages, as opposed to tucked away in my monthly book, it's going to make it more helpful for me to see and check off every single time. So I just, you know, Monday through Sunday, I can check things off. And then I kind of created this grid for workouts. I really, really do need to figure out what I want to do and when I want to do it. I have some ideas. Uh, again, this actual spread won't come up for uh, quite a few days actually. So I have some time to really nail it down. Um, I might try to do Monday through Saturday. We'll see if I do work out all of those days and then I can write down what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I didn't really like how the grid ended up. Usually I'm able to get things mostly straight and this is pretty, pretty lopsided. So that's sort of bothering me, but it, it'll be fine. I think it will look much better when I have my things filled in. And then one thing I really want to keep track of is books read. So even uh, a lot of times I'll write a book that I finish, but I might write down a book that I'm currently reading. So even if it takes me into the next month or the next week, um, books that I'm reading, I don't know exactly how that will be. So I have the ability to tweak that as we go. And then I have my day on two pages as normal. However, I am going to try to use the left side as my planner, journal, memory keeping, my script, my version of the scripting method as I have been doing, but use this side as my Bible study notes. So if you've been following me for the year, you know that 
at the end of last year, I was toying with using a Hobonichi as a faith planner and being able to write notes and stuff from Bible study in there. Um, and then I added the journal in my setup that's in my January New Year setup video. So check that out, how I was working in a faith planner all by itself. And then I was like, well, maybe I don't need it and I'd rather have this. And so now I'm going to try to combine it. So I will have all of my plans and memory keeping and things here and have the Bible study here. So it doesn't look like anything yet. I'm really excited to show you how it looks midway through after I've used it for maybe a couple of weeks. So then I had kind of a pro, not a problem, but I ended up with a blank page when I was spacing everything out on Sunday because on Sunday we go to church and I could very well do my sermon notes here, but I have kind of a whole other thing for sermon notes and what I do at church. So I don't think that's what I'm gonna use this for. And then I wasn't sure if I needed a weekly review kind of thing or a notes page. So honestly, I've left it blank and I have it here for what I needed. And maybe as I'm using the planner throughout the month, I'll really figure out what I need and where what I don't have a space. You know, something will come up and I don't have a space to write it down anywhere else, so I can write it here. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure. And then we repeat. So already here, I realized since I filled in this spread that there were a couple of things I didn't like and I thought I would do prefer better and so I changed this up so one I just spaced these out a little bit more and didn't leave so much room at the top and I really like to have my washi on the side that's just a personal preference and I really think that's going to be fine I still have room I didn't do it I should write this week or something like that and then for my habits I didn't want to waste the space writing habits and I also as I was writing these down it was really close together the lines so I spread them out much more and we'll see how I like it I already mentioned I didn't like the kind of quadrants um, so I just copied this but made it smaller and then books to read or books I finished or books I am currently reading down here and honestly I love how this looks so much more than how this looks so I am going to really appreciate that and then I went through and once again, I'm going to try to do the actual planning and memory keeping scripting on this side. And this is for Bible study. So I have that all the way through Sunday. Not sure what I will want or need that page for. Maybe it'll end up being like a photo collage. Maybe because I have so much less space um, during the day to write things, I can kind of write and use the top half for sort of tasks and planning and to do's and appointments and, and the things that you would normally associate with planning and I can use the bottom half for journaling but because it's such a small space maybe I can just do a photo collage um, week you know recap or something that actually is a great idea so here is where the I, I'm calling them kind of notes pages is going to go for the next week so it's already here but I decided not to fill it out because even though I'm pretty sure this is what I will like, I may want to tweak it and add something or take something out. And so I left it blank. So as I'm getting used to this, I can change it to what I want. But I did go ahead and fill in all of this. Now I decided also that one thing I might like is to be able to basically not to have Monday come all the way through here to have it here for my planner page and I may want to write something else here. Um, I've done the SOAP study before. S stands for scripture, O for observation, A for application, and P for prayer. And I might want to divide up the page. I might want to write something else. I have no idea. So I just thought that instead of having the word go all the way through both, that I might like it this way better. So I've gone ahead and filled out the rest of the week that way. And once again, Sunday. And then same thing for the last week. I left my notes pages blank so I can tweak my layout. And I went with this style for the rest of the book. So here is that week and one last week 
here we go. And then this week ends, the last day of the month is a Saturday. And so um, at first I had even put the washi down, but I caught myself. I really like to do the one through 30 or one through 31 days of the month in this book. And no matter where it falls in the week, I like to put the first in the next book. So August 1st, Sunday will go in my August book once the sub box gets here. And I don't know, I might really like this and we'll see, maybe I'll stop using the plan books for a while and kind of use this, which is my version. Um, maybe I'll go back to the plan book when it comes in. So stay tuned for August videos when the time comes. Let me know what you think. What do you think about me switching things up? Does it look interesting? I don't know how I feel about it. Um, so we'll see, you'll get my thoughts as we go. But that's it guys, I'm all set up and ready for July which feels really good as we finish up June and move into the new month. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great summer and I will see you next time. Bye.